what is the difference between word to vec and auto encoder because although they are very much different things but some part of their mechanism resemble each other so sometimes it becomes a little confusing to understand the conceptual difference between them so let's see what an uh, auto encoder is so auto encoder are a kind of uh, neural network designed for dimensionality reduction in other words representing the same information with fewer numbers if you look at this diagram the network starts out by compressing the data into a lower dimensional representation which is z and then converts it back to a reconstruction of the original input if the network converges properly z will be more compressed version of the data that encodes the same information for example if the input image is a face the data can be reduced down to certain defining characteristics of a face like shape color pose and so on representing each of those characteristics could be more effective than sorting each pixel and that's what auto encoder does that instead of having millions of millions of pixels i will have some defining characteristics of a face and now let's see how word to vector works so here is the classic um, uh, pictorial representation of the original uh, Google's proposal of their calculation of word to vector so word to vec is a statistical method for efficiently learning a standalone word embedding from a text corpus two different learning models were introduced that can be used as part of uh, the word to vec approach to learn the word embedding and they are CBOW and Skipgram cbow stands for continuous bag of words and uh, so uh, under the cbow model it learns the embedding by predicting the current word based on its context the continuous skipgram model learns by predicting the surrounding words given the current word so we can clearly see in this picture in the cbow i have the input as the context of words and my target is to predict this word target word and it is just the opposite for skipgram that is i have a single word and i have to predict the contextual words so now let's look at the differences between autoencoder and word to vec uh, first let's consider how they learn differently so autoencoder it is a self supervised learning problem because there are no explicit labels the input data set also serves so let's go back to the uh uh yeah the view so the input data set also serves as the output label since the goal is reconstruction that is here this reconstructed x dash should be as close to the input x as possible that's the target and now for word to vec uh, this is an unsupervised problem where i have a corpus of unlabeled text to begin with posed as a binary classification problem because the goal is predicting the source context word given the target word in the case of skipgram and uh, for the case of cbow predict the target word given the source context word so once again auto encoder is a self supervised learning problem and word to vec is an unsupervised learning problem now let's look at the loss function between them so let's go back to my auto encoder so here in the case of autoencoder it learns by back propagating the reconstruction loss from decoder to encoder so once i build one decoder i compare the difference between the these decoded reconstructed x dash and the original x and that's my loss and then i back propagate that particular loss now in the case of word to vec it learns by back propagating the gradient from the soft max classifier to the dense word vector such that the cross entropy loss of the classifier is minimized so their loss function 
the way it works that also is different so overall to sum up uh, an autoencoder's job is to represent a sparse input data set in a compressed form that retains the most relevant information such that it may be reconstructed at the output with minimal loss from the compressed representation. In order to do this, the input data is subjected to an information bottleneck so that the encoder is able to learn the most efficient latent representation of the input rather than just memorizing the input this is similar in spirit to matrix factorization and now looking at word to vec word to vec converts a sparse unique indexing of the vocabulary that is in the input text each word in the vocabulary is represented as unique index in a dictionary to a continuous dense and distributed representation that can be considered to be a compressed latent representation of words in the vocabulary this can also be considered to be similar in spirit to matrix matrix factorization but the goal here is to encode the context around the word rather than the word itself all right that pretty much wraps up this video if you have liked this one smash the like button and also do subscribe because i'm going to do many interesting nlp projects over the coming days and weeks so see you in the next one thank you very much for watching